Don't build a DIY cold plunge until you watch this. A few years back, I built a chest freezer ice bath and it ran me anywhere between $1,000 and $2,000 and it will be the same for you depending on how meticulous you are with the actual build. It's also gonna be really time consuming and maintenance is going to be and the worst part is that you could actually end up making some mistakes that could end up costing you a lot of time and energy and it just becomes a huge headache. That's where this thing comes in because this is actually not a DIY cold plunge. It's a done for you cold plunge. So this company is called Box Plunge and they actually take chest freezers and convert them into cold plunges and they do all the work for you. So they send me this unit to test out and give you a full review. They've not paid me to make this review. I'm gonna give my honest thoughts and experience after using it now for about a month. Box Plunge. Box Plunge. Box Plunge very powerful effect on the release of dopamine. You get this rush of endorphins. It's gonna improve your emotional state. Control over stress. So this is the cold plunge right here. It arrived on a pallet and I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna set it up and fill it up with some water so we can do a cold plunge. Looks like this is the back of it, so I'm gonna to have to turn it around, but I love it. I remember when I had a self-built cold plunge, whenever I was in the freezing cold, freaking out, I was also in the back of my mind thinking, wait, did I unplug this thing? Did I, uh, am I getting shocked? <laughs> There's like this extra layer of stress that is added. A bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna have to unpack this, what is that? All right, so we have everything laid out here and we have a industrial size fish tank pump. Then we have a filter. This is where the temperature controller is. And now we just gotta put all those pieces onto this unit right here. Finished setting up the cold plunge almost. I just need to put some water in the tub. So the water is about to get to the level that it's supposed to be at. So I'm gonna turn off the hose. I'm gonna put it on the top and it should start the cold plunge. Boom, it just turned on. So everything's going. Ozone is set for four hours tonight. I think it's going, we'll see. We'll check back in tomorrow. Okay, this bad boy is ready to go. So I wanna give you guys a quick sound check. So I'm gonna put the mic right up against the freezer so you guys can hear how loud it is. It's relatively quiet. Okay, so we got a slight hum. It's not quiet, but it's not loud. For the noise factor, we're doing okay. All right, let's talk about the setup of this done for you cold plunge. Setup took probably three to five hours. So it wasn't just plug and play. There are some things that you have to put in the right place. You have to hook things on and you have to sort of piece it together a little bit. I wouldn't say that it was that complicated, but this is where Box Plunge definitely has some opportunity for growth, which is in their instructions and their sort of step-by-step -step video. It's a bit confusing, but I know this is a new business and they're innovating and they're making it better. I will say that the customer service and the founder were extremely helpful. They walked me through everything that I needed to know and answered all my questions relatively quickly. So even though the initial setup process wasn't that great, I still feel that the customer service was at a very, very high level. So I was happy about that. Next, let's talk about the different sizes. So this is a chest freezer, of course, and those come in all different sizes. So they have sizes from eight cubic feet to 24 cubic feet and everything in between. This particular cold plunge is the 14.8 cubic foot chest freezer. So the dimensions are 32.5 inches deep, 55.75 inches long, and 29.6 inches wide. So this has a temperature controller that will go all the way down to 32 degrees. Actually, it'll go lower than that. I'm not gonna go lower than that, and you probably shouldn't go lower than 32 degrees. So it has this little magnetic switch right here. So when you take the cover off, it will automatically shut down all the electronics and turn off the cold plunge so that you don't have to ever worry about unplugging it or being at risk for being electrocuted like you have to do with other DIY chest freezers. And inside you will see that there is a filter and a pump that will circulate the water and make sure that the water is being kept clean in addition to, it has an ozone generator that goes through this hose into the water and the ozone is gonna be pumped into the water on a timer that you set. All the electrical wires and cables and the timer for the ozone is all housed in this waterproof compartment right here. So if you wanna test all of this stuff and make sure that it's working while the lid is off, they've placed this little magnet right here on the side. When you put the magnet on the top of the box, it will turn on this electricity. And you can see if the filter and the pump are working correctly. To turn off the electricity, once again, simply remove 
the token. So this cold plunge has a one year warranty. So if anything breaks or malfunctions, then you can get it replaced within the year that you purchased it. They have coated the inside of the cold plunge with this waterproof insulation. So this is gonna keep it even more cold and it's going to make sure that it doesn't drip or leak and that it's very, very airtight. And an added benefit of this coating that they put on is that it gives the water a nice blue sort of hue. So these freezers are low energy consumption. They're about $10 a month. And if you look in here, there's a nice mat that you can put your feet on to make sure it captures all the debris as well. Then you have a nice towel rack right here. And I actually love the way it looks in my garage. It feels pretty surreal to have another chest freezer back in the garage for my cold plunge. Now it's time to actually test this out. And then afterwards, I wanna talk about who I think this is right for and why this is such an important product for the cold plunge market. There we go. This is like the perfect size for me. Just put my feet right up against the little ledge inside of the cold plunge and I can just put my feet right against it. I lower myself down, it's like, wow. The problems with some of the tubs, it's hard to like get deep enough without like sliding around. I feel very secure in this position right here. Okay, as far as experience goes, that was great. It was easy, I fit nicely, and I'm actually really satisfied. I forgot how good a nice fitting cold plunge can really feel and how much better that can make the overall experience. So for my first session, it's a big thumbs up in terms of experience. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, fly for a second. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Oh my goodness. Damn it. Why did you have to get this ass back? Now I have to use it. How do you like it, Ellie? It feels good. It feels so much better. It's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the, the fit, the actual experience of being in there? It's perfect. It's a perfect fit. And I like it because I like to keep my little angles out. Mm. I'm curling up because I'm used to like the smaller ice tubs, but yeah. like the better I get, the more I'll stretch out and it's it's amazing. It's like does the job. I like this the better than like a longer one. Like just the way that the depth. Yes. I can get my like legs up. It's a very comfortable spot for the feet to rest. It's really good. I like that it turns off for peace of mind. Uh -huh when you open the lid. I love the phone holder, I love the look and feel of it. It feels high quality. Yeah, it's great, it's everything you need. Mm -hmm. How tall are you, Matt? I'm oh, six feet. Six feet tall, and how do you feel like you fit? Like I could take a nice nap. <laughs> what did you think, what did you like, what did you not like about that experience? I think it was perfect temperature, perfect size, it made it really easy. Yeah, the whole experience was so good. I think the cold plunge market has needed a product like this for a long time because it sits in this nice sweet spot in between the high-end cold plunges and right above the DIY. If you're gonna do the DIY right, like I said before, it's gonna run you between a thousand to two thousand dollars and the more expensive and higher-end cold plunges start at about four or five thousand and go up the ladder. So if you get the small size chest freezer, it's gonna run you 2,300. And if you get the biggest one, the XL, it's gonna cost you 5,200. So this one's right in the middle at the $3,400 price point. They're also highly customizable. So they have these different wraps that you can put on it. So you can get a wood grain or you can do a mat or you can do something like this. One of the unique things about this cold plunge for all you crazy people out there, this goes all the way down to 32 degrees. So you can get the ice going, you can do that whole thing. If that's what you're into, then this is one of the only units that you can buy that actually goes that cold. After using this for a couple of weeks and running a bunch of my friends through it, I really, really like it. I think it fits nice. I feel that I can get down to the vagus nerve and I can submerge in a really great way. And I love that it cleans itself when I'm not around and I just pull off the top, it shuts everything down so I can have that peace of mind knowing everything's safe. So I don't think this is the product for everyone. Obviously, if you want a really nice one, then you can go check out the videos that I did with Renew Therapy. If you wanna build your own and you just like the process of doing that, then go ahead and check out the DIY content that I made 
made, but for people who just want a simple solution that's easy to use, that's fairly low maintenance, I think this is a good option. So the company did give me a discount code. So if you're interested in getting it, you can use code Kyle and you can save some money. I think this is a really cool product. I know we're gonna see a lot of innovation with this kind of stuff. And I love, I love, love, love this segment of the market that this is serving for the people who don't wanna spend a fortune on a cold plunge and they don't wanna take the time and expend the energy to build their own DIY. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, I know you're gonna like these videos right here and I'll see you in those next videos. Take care, be well.